Hey guys, welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. So today, I have an idea for a different campaign. Most of the time, you see people create like terrible rulers through um, the create your own um, option. I'm thinking today, I'm going to try to do it naturally within the game. So like, I have to marry people who have bad traits, you know what I mean? And then, you know, you know the heirs will have bad traits, then on and on. So let me figure out who we're actually going to play today. Alright, I think we found a guy I'm going to play. Let's actually turn on iron mode. Alright, and let's go. Alright, so this guy's already looking a little strange. His, uh... I don't know, something about him just off. So obviously I'm going to make this worse for him. Let's look up... I forgot, is Hideous? Yeah, Hideous is the one. There are no characters that are Hideous. How about Ugly? Comely? No, that's not... What's the, what's the other one? I don't know the other one. Alright, I'm going to look for a wife that I think has the worst trait, and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so the worst trait that I can find right now is Bleeder. Bleeder is pretty bad. It'll probably shave like 15 years off um, my heir's life. So I'm going to marry her. And immediately what I'm going to do is take all the little guys around me. So I'm going to start with uh, this guy here. this guy's turn and it's this guy's turn and now I'm gonna raid to actually form the kingdom of a uh, Belarus basically Alright, so we got a little bit of money out of that, but we also got wounded. So I'm gonna take a break from raiding. We're around like halfway there, I think. Yeah, so it's okay. I'll just I'll just wait. I don't want to risk becoming severely wounded and then dying because of she doesn't she doesn't have any uh, terrible traits yet. So and since we can't go for blood here because of um the chances of actually not inheriting bad traits. I think I'm actually gonna go for law here, because we're we're gonna have like quite a few opinion debuffs from all the bad traits that we're gonna get. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for law. All right, this sucks. It looks like I had a son, Stanislav, and he didn't actually inherit any bad traits. So what I'm going to do is not actually educate him with a guardian to make sure he has the worst traits I guess possible and plus I won't even pick the education focus so if he gets like intrigue you know I guess that's just how it's gonna be you know and we can finally create the kingdom all right and this guy looks ripe for the picking so I'm gonna go for him So thankfully, our heir has the worst childhood trait he can. Um, this sucks. I'm gonna try to find him a wife right now. So I think what I'm actually gonna do here is start inbreeding. So this way there's a higher chance of actually having bad traits be inherited. So it's kind of like a hag for a campaign, honestly. Alright, and it looks like... A northern army actually won and kicked whoever this guy was here out of there so I'm not gonna actually subjugate this guy because he's you know a hostile faith 
So right now I'm just going to take a chunk out of them. Alright, so my son grew up without much influence from me at all. And he's like an average ruler, honestly. Like he's he's better than this guy. This guy's pretty good. But you know what I mean. Like he's like average. Well below average because he's actually um in uh intrigue, but it's okay. It'll get a lot worse. Alright, I think upon the guy who I'm actually gonna subjugate here. This guy right here. He's currently being split in half by uh, my friend here, my great friend, the stranger of Kiev. Um, it's okay. Honestly, I can't go after Novgorod, like he's way too strong, so this guy's like the this guy's the second best one to go after. And this guy here will actually let me vassalize him, so I'm actually gonna do this. Nice. So I was looking at Faiths to convert to, and I think I'm actually going to go with this one. It doesn't give me too many buffs to where my my characters will be like too strong. Like these are all not very good tenants. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go with this one. Everyone in my core will actually convert also. So there's gonna be like a random like Zo Zoroastrian patch in Russia. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Great. Let's see how strong this guy is. Naturally, he's super strong. Um, this sucks. This really sucks. I just got out of a war taking this province here. Well, taking Moscow actually. Um, I'm not going to move my capital there. It's not even in my kingdom. And he's way too strong right now. How did he die? The wounds. Um, I guess we're going to have to fight this. I mean, we have a few allies, I think. We have no allies, actually. We lost all of our allies. Let's see. <laughs> and there's like nobody. I think these people are all in oh there. No peas in my he's in there too. I don't know why it's within my realm. Oh, because she's not actually in my court. Let's see. Cause there I don't think there's any way I can actually fight this off with uh, this amount this uh this many troops without you know them splitting apart, so Is she in there yet? She's taking like four months to actually accept it. I don't know why she's unlanded, that makes no sense. She should be in my court, right? He's in my court unlanded. I don't know why I can't get an alliance with her. Um, oh god. We have like no money to actually buy any mercenaries too. Probably gonna max those out. And my guy died. So I think I'm gonna do this little series episode by episode. I mean. So I think I'm going to do this little series here, like character to character. So I think I'm going to actually do a little wrap up, wrap up of my country and then end the video here. I know it's a cliffhanger, but like there's not much else we can do, you know. Um, he lived pretty long, 36 years. Um, he was pretty good. We expanded our realm pretty well. But... If we if we can't win this, we lose a pretty sizable chunk of our land to 
This guy, the Hammer Dynasty. Um, he still doesn't even have any kids. Let's just do that for a little hint of the next episode. All right. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know. And thank you for watching.